Today I've decided to make a video about something I think I don't talk enough about, and that is cell phones and why I hate them. And also why I'm probably not going to download your phone app on my phone. So I want to pre uh, preface this with a, with a story about a university. So a university that I'm affiliated with recently decided to force all the users to use two-factor authentication, which I, you know, I don't mind. You know, I would prefer to use just a password, but I can I can live with two-factor authentication. The problem is though, there's only two options. The first option is to use a USB security key, which is like, you know, it's like a normal USB drive like this. But the only problem is the only thing the only thing they're good for is logging into accounts, which I um and these things cost like fifty to hundred dollars. So I'll be spending fifty to hundred dollars just to log into one one of my accounts, which complete waste of money. So, the second option, option two, is the, <laughs> the funniest option. It's to download their phone app. And I think it, it's just the funniest thing on the planet because, like, it seems like nowadays everyone wants you to download their phone app. And, like, I don't know, I just think it's ridiculous because, like, I don't, I barely have any apps on my phone. I, I, I probably can't, I, actually, no, I, I tried. I can't download that phone app, actually. I'll go ahead and pull up, I'll go ahead and pull up what this security system is because, I think they de they deserve the shame. And for those of you who know the name Duo Security, you probably know my pain. But this is Duo by Cisco, and if you don't know, Cisco is a networking company, um, and the network hardware is actually pretty good. But their software is atrocious, and it's ridden with bugs and security vulnerabilities. It is the probably the epitome of proprietary software. So. Needless to say, Cisco software you should never trust. But anyways, yeah, Duo is this, it's a Cisco software product, and it's this two-factor authentication platform that it, it, it like locks everything behind the user, and it doesn't, it doesn't use any open standards, or when it does, it, you know, like I said, it locks it behind the user. So for example, you can see right here, you know, the only, um, the only options you have are either use the app right here, a security key, or touch ID, which I obviously don't have. So, and there's no, you know, there's no other, you know, um, security, or uh, industry standard two-factor authentication method. Those are the only options you have. And I just think it's ridiculous because, like, there, like I said, there's way better um, two-factor authentication method methods. For example, I have a program on my computer called pass and it's just a password password manager but there's an extension for it called pass OTP which will give me which will generate one-time passwords which is which are one-time passwords are the industry standard in two-factor authentication which I don't understand like why people try to obfuscate obfuscate you know two-factor authentication so much it's it makes no sense but Anyways, so yeah, the only way to sign my account is either to have a USB security key or to use my cell phone. And I can't download on my cell phone because, one, I don't have my cell phone with me everywhere I go. And two, um, I run Graphene OS on my cell phone. So I couldn't download a, propri a proprietary app like this, even if I tried. So, in fact, I actually contact the IT department at uh, this university. And I tell them my situation, and they say, okay, well, just buy a new cell phone, <laughs> which I think is the funniest thing ever. Like, this is this is a piece of technology that costs hundreds of dollars, and they just want me to buy a new one. Like, it's somehow, like, like it's a disposable camera or something like that. It's the funniest thing on the planet. But, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't understand why, like, people expect you to always have your cell phone on you at all times. Like, like, like I said, like, I leave my cell phone at home at all times. I usually don't bring it with me when I go somewhere. And so it's like, what am I supposed to do? I don't know. Um, and there's also another situation, which I want to talk about, uh, which is restaurants. So uh, thanks to COVID, restaurants now have a second option for menus. Um, they have a physical menu, but they also have a digital menu. You can scan. You can usually scan it with your phone. With a, uh, they'll have a QR code you can scan, and you'll get the menu. And I went to a restaurant once, and they didn't have any physical menus at all. Like, I asked nothing. 
And so I didn't have my phone on me. And if it wasn't for the fact my friend had his phone on him, I wouldn't be able to order from that restaurant at all. Maybe unless, you know, maybe I asked, asked the waiter or something like that or waitress. But yeah, if I didn't have my, if I, if my friend didn't have his phone on him, he, I wouldn't be able to order at that restaurant. I just, I don't know. I find it crazy that phones are required for, you know, like are basically required to function every, in everyday life for some reason. Like, like 10 years ago, I didn't even own a cell phone. Like, I'm not sure what happened in 10 years, but apparently it's required for every single, like, minute thing in life. Like, next thing you know, in order to open my car, I need, you know, to download a cell phone app or something like that. But I'm sorry, I'm not going to download your cell phone app, okay? It's, I only have, like, actually go ahead and pull this up right now. I only have, like, like this many apps on my phone, and the, m most of them are default apps, and... I barely touch my phone as it is, except for calling, texting, and taking pictures. Like, I don't know, but more of the story is I hate cell phones and go outside. <laughs>